Hello everyone, welcome to Violet Adazet 2.0, Violet here, and today we are looking at simple ideas that made people millionaires. By the YouTube channel, The Richest, as someone who is definitely trying to become a millionaire soon, I think this is a great video to watch. So let's see what made people millionaires. Let's get into it. Ever wonder who invented the smiley face or the slinky? or any other seemingly random yet incredibly simple idea like the koosh ball. I always wondered the first person that figured out cheese. Who left milk for that long that it turned into cheese? That's what I really want to know. What if we told you that the inventor of the smiley face, his little invention, has raked in an estimated $500 million. I will believe you. I see smiley faces everywhere. You know what I wish I had the rights to? The birthday song. Mm, I'll be getting the money <laughs> today we are taking a look at some of the most simple ideas from toys to clothes to games to even food to find out just how they made their inventors millions upon millions of dollars first up on our list of simple products that produced quite a pocketful of pennies we have the all too infamous snuggie i always like the snuggie people used to make fun of it so much and say what's well, a dumb idea but it sounds perfect a blanket that you have sleeves it can do whatever you want without it falling off it sounds amazing well not not only is their product known for its rather, shall we say, retro commercials, it also happens to be a simple idea that was copied from another simple idea. You know how I said it's known for its retro commercials? That's an amazing marketing strategy because it's so retro, it just makes people laugh and it makes people remember it. Imagine if it was made like every other commercial, it will be just one in a bunch, right? But because they made it so retro, it stands out from the bunch. I think it's a really smart idea and I think they definitely did that on purpose. Harry Clegg, a 17-year-old freshman at the University of Maine, had invented a a sleeved blanket called the Slanket. But in 2008, Mr. Clegg saw the rise of a product that was eerily similar to his, the Snuggie. Invented by Scott Boylan, and apparently after he had seen the Slanket, this rival sleeved blanket was brilliantly marketed with an ad campaign that seems to acknowledge just how silly this product was. Oh, this is the best kind of marketing. Self-aware. People love when stuff is silly and dumb and almost laughable, but is self-aware. It just makes it that much better. And also a great marketing tool that Snuggie has versus the Slinket is they have very unique designs. You can have a woman's body with a bikini, a guy with a tie on, a zebra, uh, whatever you want. You don't take yourself too seriously when you buy one. You know what it is, but it's still very, very practical. The Snuggie took off. People loved its simple premise and weird commercials. And before long, celebrities were even seen wearing their own Snuggies. Even pop rock band Weezer was seen advertising their own brand of this comfy cow. The Snuggie has sold over 20 million units and has made over $200 million. For such a simple idea, we gotta say, well done, Snuggie. Can you imagine if you were the guy that created the Slinket or Slanket? See, I don't even know what it's called. I'll be pissed. Oh, I'll be angry. <laughs> Why you little? I'll be angry. Oh, that must really hurt. $200 million. That is bewildering. Up next, we have one of arguably the most famous toys on the planet. It's the Slinky. Invented by Richard James, who was inspired to create the Slinky after dropping a tension spring. Then seeing how it moved along his floor, Mr. James released the Slinky in 1945, and legend has it that his first batch of 400 Slinkies sold out in only 90 minutes. If you can come up with a product that is oddly satisfying, there's so much money to be made because people have very fidgety hands. If you can give them something to do with their fidgety hands, especially when they have nothing else doing, that is it's kind of similar to the, what's that thing called? It's on the tip of my tongue, but it was famous for two seconds. Today, the Slinky has made him an estimated $250 million. And from the looks of it, this cute little spring will continue to be pulling in a profit until the end of time. Can you imagine making $250 million from a mistake that you made and you decided to run with it? Think about how many times in your life you've thought of something and then years later, someone actually comes out with a product and you say, I thought of that years ago. It's just crazy how such a mistake got him $250 million. That's arguably one of the most lucrative accidents in the history of the world. I agree. In case you missed this fad, we'd like to introduce you to Beanie Babies. Invented by Ty Warner, the initial batch of Beanie Babies was laughed at by its competitors. But after 30,000 units sold at their inaugural show in Atlanta, Warner knew he had something. And in a brilliant business move, he never allowed his product to be sold in the big toy stores like Toys R Us. 
which made his product rare. Exclusivity, the best marketing tactics in slice of bread. Kind of like the iPhone. I feel like the iPhone created a uh, exclusivity that doesn't really exist because everybody has iPhones, but for some reason, everyone thinks that their iPhone makes them exclusive. He would retire older models once a new one was released thus making his beanies even rarer. Collectibles. Oh, this guy is smart. He is just pulling up all the marketing stops. Beanie Babies made Mr. Warner $700 million in one year. Did my ears just hear correctly? Did they say Beanie Babies made Mr. Warner $700 million in one year? I can't even be mad because he pulled out all the stops he needed to pull out to make sure it got there. Today, it is estimated that Warner earned six to eight billion dollars from these little guys. I can see why he made six to eight billion dollars from that. He was smart. I need to make something. Next is one of the simplest and arguably one of the tastiest ideas on our list. We are talking about Tang. Oh, Tang is so good. The sugary orange beverage that is essentially just sugar and water. Invented by William A. Mitchell in 1957, Tang was released in 1959, but wasn't initially a hit. But Tang had a stroke of good luck when NASA picked it up as the preferred beverage of astronaut John Glenn during his Mercury flight in 1962. So John Glenn was pretty much an influencer and influenced people to buy some Tang. And just like that, Tang was a hit. William Mitchell was a superstar at General Foods and continued his inventing spree of simple yet tasty snacks including Pop Rocks and Cool Whip. William is a genius. Pop Rocks and Cool Whip? That is a lot to create in one go, and he did it. Congrats to him. He has good taste. What if we told you that Tang's parent company raked in a colossal $25.782 billion in 2020 due to the success of their products, including Tang and Cool Whip? Sometimes the simplest ideas are the most lucrative. I'm just hearing many large amounts of money. I need to think outside the box and come up with a product. I need to get in on the action. Here's a fun and floofy toy for you. It's the Koosh Ball. The <laughs> fun and friendly little ball of rubber bands that is fun to dangle, throw, and bounce around. Yet another invention that is made for people that are fidgety. For example, I have this right here. It has like a analog stick. It has this thing that you can just pull. It has like little things that you can spin. It's just a fidgeting ball. Anything like that, you're probably gonna make bank if you know how to market it properly. Scott Stillinger invented this uniquely simple ball in 1987 when he tried to tie rubber bands together into a safe ball for kids to play with. It was an instant hit and toy giant Hasbro took notice. It bought Stillinger's company that was producing these little rubber bouncies for $100 million. <laughs> when I hear my dream, create an invention that a big colossal monster of a company buys for billions or late millions of dollars. And then I can just have a stake in the company and just back off and be a bum if that's what I wanna do. Oh, that's my dream. Welcome to my TED talk. <laughs> Stillinger never had to worry about inventing again. Last up on our list, a smiley face. This simple design was created by Murray and Bernard Spain. The funniest thing about the smiley face, it's such a simple thing. It's so embedded in our culture that I didn't realize someone created it. I just thought it was just around because when you smile, you make a little semicircle. I just never realized that someone must have had to create that look specifically. In a brilliant business move, they bought the exclusive rights to not only the smiley, but also the tagline, have a nice day. In the first year and a half, the smiley brought in an estimated $50 million. And today, in total, the smiley has made over 500 million. This is the one that surprises me the most. With how much I see the smiley face, I was expecting a larger number than $500 million. I was really expecting it to be the most profitable. I thought it was gonna be billions of dollars. <laughs> it seems that some of the most simple ideas out there turn some of the most massive profits. <laughs> Those snuggle commercials, I remember they used to make me laugh. Their marketing was genius. Hey, what can we say? Sometimes simplicity takes off. And just like that, you're out of the poorhouse and living on Easy Street. Where I'm trying to be too, on the rich, easy billionaire street, because I created a true lace that ties itself. <laughs> we want to remind you that the fidget spinner was arguably one of the most simple ideas out there. The fidget spinner. Remember when I was trying to remember that one thing that they created that I couldn't remember? The fidget spinner. If you can create anything that is meant for fidgety hands, 
you are in the green. That was simple ideas that made people millionaires, if not billionaires. That was very impressive. It gave me my daily dose of inspiration. If you enjoyed that video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you could invent something without any money issues and you were sure it would be successful, what would you create? Let me know in the comment section below. If you aren't already subscribed to my channel, be sure to do so. I put out videos like this often and you do not want to miss it. So be sure to click that notification bell as well and I'll catch you in the next one. Hopefully a bit richer because I came up with an idea and I sold it and Google bought it. <laughs> Bye.